Hey guys, welcome back. Wanted to show you how to do some chaos destruction in the new UE5. Um, if we look, I have this first place or uh, first person shooter template, and uh, this part of the terrain here, when I shoot it with my gun, it breaks apart, and some of those larger pieces that come off then can break apart more. And with this, you can make destructible terrain, destructible buildings. Um, Maybe you have some sort of game where a rocket launcher is going to destroy a, a building and then you want it to crumble to the ground or uh, something of that nature. So that's basically what we're going to do is just show the basics of this and how to get rolling with it. So let's get started. First, let's uh, start by creating a new project. And I'm going to do the first person shooter. Let's name this... Um, Chaos Tutorial. Let's go ahead and create that. So with that, the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our plugins. And usually the Chaos Editor right here is already enabled. Uh, but it's a good idea to go ahead and search for field and enable the field system plugin. This is gonna require a restart, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now what the field system does, it allows us to do different things with the chaos plugin, uh, control different areas of the damage, um, and also apply damage. So, here we go, we have our uh, first person template here. And so I'm gonna select this part of the uh, field here, the SM cube four. Now, if you go up here to select mode and go to fracture with a piece selected such as this, we can hit new. And it's gonna ask us to pick a path because what it's gonna do is create a new mesh um, file for this. So you can name it whatever you want and it'll create a geometry collection, which is basically uh, a bunch of small meshes put together. So all the different fractured pieces. So we'll create that geometry collection. And now we need to go ahead and fracture this piece. So if we come over here to the fracture menu, there's a couple different types. And I'll probably start with the uniform fracture, which breaks it up like that. And when you hit fracture, you'll notice that over here, it added a level one that has 20 pieces in it, and you can change the amount of pieces. Now you can leave it there and you'll have some big pieces that'll break apart. Um, but what I want to do is then fracture that further so that the big pieces can break into smaller pieces. So you can go ahead and fracture this again and make another level. I'm gonna change my type of fracture. Maybe I'll make sure make this one a cluster so then I have some bigger pieces on one side, some smaller on another. So I'll go ahead and fracture that. And now you can see we have another level with 368 pieces. And then I'll fracture that one again. And now we have another level with a thousand pieces. So the levels are the pieces that break off. Uh, a level one, will break in big chunks and then that can break into the level twos and that sort of idea. So if we go and play the game and we pick up our gun, nothing happens because we need to create a field that causes damage. So we want to spawn damage in the location where our projectile hits. So to do that, first we're going to go into our projectile blueprint And on this, right in here, before we do anything else, because the way this works is it's going to check if a uh, object is simulating physics that it hits and cause a, if true, it'll add an impulse. But we want the uh, field to be created no matter what. So we're going to come in here before the branch and we're going to say spawn actor from class. Make a little room here. Okay, and um, 
we're going to do a FS master field. Now, with this, I'm going to be editing the master file, but it's recommended that if you're going to be doing more than this, that you should make a copy of that and make it so you have different ones for your projectiles or anything else you do. So you could add different forces for different things. So maybe, maybe a pistol bullet has a certain amount of force, but then a rocket launcher has a different amount. Or maybe there's um, a bomb or, or whatever. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and open this up real quick. And if we go down to field settings, actually, we'll, let's do two things. One is this delay. Uh, sometimes it's set to one second. I like to trim it back to 0.1, so then it's a little more instantaneous. And then under field settings, we have um, the, lin the linear and angular velocities. Um, I believe that they come at different velocities than this. This is something I have set up. So for the purposes of this, uh, 1,500 and 75,000 seem to work pretty decent. Um, so let's go ahead and play this. Let's see what happens. Oops, let me um, get this in view for you. Perfect. So now we grab the gun. We're not shooting a projectile anymore. Ah, so we have an error in this here. We need to give it a location to spawn this field. So we're going to use the hit location. And uh, let's make a little bit more room here. Okay. Let's compile that. All right, I think that's going to be better. So let's go and grab the gun. And when we hit, we see we caused a little bit of damage. Some little pieces fell off there. Um, and if you look closely, you can see all the different pieces in here. So let me see if I can break off this corner. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to find a good example. Sometimes when the pieces break off, they Smaller pieces still stay connected together. And it looks like in this, they keep falling apart. So like, for instance, uh, these two pieces, when they fell off, they were probably one together. And when it hit the ground, the forces caused it to break. So what I want to do, because I want that effect to be a little bit different, is I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to select our, um, our cube here. And I'm going to search for damage. Now, these damage thresholds are based on the different levels. So level 0, 1, 2, and you can add more as well. So if I don't want the things on level 2 to break off quite as easily, I can increase this number. So maybe I, uh, level 1 is 50,000. Maybe I want to make this um, 40,000. So let's see how that changes it. Okay, so here's an example here. This piece broke off with the pink and the, the light blue here, and they're still attached. And now I can shoot it again, and those break apart. Um, another example is you can see that some of these are broken apart and separated. Like this piece that I'm standing on is, is many pieces, but it's broken off of this big one. So if I shoot that again, now those will break apart. See if I can get some other examples here. So yeah, like this whole big piece is coming off but it's still together. And then if I shoot it again, they may break apart. And um, here's another one here, the purple and the blue. And then when I shoot them, they break apart. Now to get rid of this colorful design and show our um, original material, we can search 
for show bone colors. And if we turn that off, we'll go back to our original material. And now we can go and, well, since I was far away, I believe it only made a small amount of force and caused that fracture. But now we can see how this is slowly breaking apart. And again, if you were doing something with more force, you, you know, I don't know, maybe a bomb goes off or a rocket launcher, you could um, set your forces much higher. And maybe I'll play with that real quick, but you can see our larger piece there broke. This large piece will probably break, yeah. And um, yeah, so just for fun, let's go in and increase our forces on this significantly. I don't know. Well, let's start with 100,000. Just see. So you can see how that big piece had broken off and then the smaller one after that. So, uh... This big piece will probably break up into smaller ones if we shoot it again. And it's just showing that that's working. And um, people do this with uh, some different objects. So let's, and you know, sometimes it's cool with really tall objects. So real quick, why don't we, hmm. Um, here, just for fun, let's. Let's take this over here. Uh, these are all different pieces. It's okay. Here, well, we'll just take this um, triangle here and let's increase the height of it. Oops. All right, let's, okay. There we go. So now we have that much taller. Let's go ahead and uh, fracture that. Okay. So we're going to fracture it, make these big pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and fracture those pieces into smaller pieces. Okay. And I just want to show the effects of a, a whole structure kind of crumbling. Um, let's see here. So we want to turn off the bone colors. And let's see what happens. Oh, actually the whole thing collapsed uh, immediately. But what we can do is go in and change the damage thresholds. So let's go to damage and let's make this, um, let's see, we're at 500,000, maybe 800,000. And then um, 100,000. 90,000 and I'm not sure if uh, these will work quite yet, but let's see what happens. So we still have the same issue. Um, let's see here, 800,000. How many levels do we have a third level there and only these here. So let's um, 200,000, 500,000, 700,000, and um, 900,000. See what happens there. We can see um, it's, it's breaking into larger pieces. Um, let's try... Five million. And this is just changing how much damage it takes to start breaking. And it almost stayed up, but then it tipped over. Um, here, let's, uh, let's try this. Delete these other pieces real quick. See if those are having any effect on it. Okay, so we have it finally standing up straight. We just needed to increase those damage thresholds. But now 
when I shoot it, a uh, piece fell off. Depending on where I hit it, it's damaged in different ways, and we have these larger pieces that then break down as uh, I continue to damage it. And you could imagine if that was a whole column to a building or something, and that came crumbling down, it might be pretty cool. But um, yeah, so thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.